Hello there, we have um, another watch uh, unboxing slash review. So I ordered this piece from um, Steinhardt, just to show you what I'm wearing today, from where we uh, showed last week. I ordered this piece from Steinhardt, uh, it was on pre-order, so I expected to have to wait a little bit. Um, but um, lo and behold, after I think about seven days, it just turned up, FedEx dropped it off, super happy. So um, that basically says, if you want to send it back, leave on the stickers. You've got the uh, warranty information, it's all filled out, good job, dated, stamped, lovely. The box is really sturdy, nice sturdy box, a little bit of paper in the box. So there's your inner box, nice little sturdy case, little pops on and off there. It's properly hinged as well, it's got proper hinges. Got a nice um, bit of soft foam there to protect the top of the watch. And here's the watch. So it is the Steinhardt Ocean Premium. Ocean 1 Premium, I should say. And it's uh, blue. So, yeah. It's a bit of a Rolex homage, as uh, some would say. There's your uh, tag. So this was um, shipped to me. It was just under 500 English pounds. So it was um, 550 euros. That included shipping. Um, so, sorry, no, it's 565 euros including shipping. Um, so yeah, it was just under 500 pound, which I was quite happy with. Um, I had to pay VAT because I'm in the EU. If you um, are out of the EU, so if you order from America, you get 20% off that price because of the uh, VAT. So let's have a quick look at the watch. So that that's fit. It's in nice and snug there. So I've already obviously opened this watch, worn it. There's my spare links at the bottom. Just took a few out. So if I just get point to the link, so on some watches like this cheaper watch, um, you have the links have screw heads, but they're not really screws. They just make them look like screws, so they look more premium. But this here on the Steinhardt, it genuinely is screws. So you actually have to unscrew the links, the uh, band, the bar, the pins, I should say, from uh, in between the band links. So you have to use a screwdriver to unscrew them. Then you can just pull them out uh, with a pair of tweezers or pliers. So it's a lot, um, a lot more sturdy. So if I just whip that off for you. So as I said, this is blue. Um, you've got the nice dial sweeping second hand you got the uh, mercedes hour marker you got the uh, cyclops for the date so it works like the rolex it actually works it doesn't it's not fake like some of them um you've got nice bezel nice and solid way more solid than that that would go it, you can't really see there you go it comes back on itself that doesn't re doesn't come back on itself very i'm forcing that to come back so you've got a nice bit of detail on the crown, which is a screw down crown. So that's got you, you've got your Steinhardt logo. Um, you've got a little bit of detail on the clip. And then inside, you've got the nice case back with the gold detailing, the Steinhardt logo on the, uh, the weight. You can see that goes nice and smooth. It's actually been in a cold room. I don't know if that makes a difference to uh, the actual oil. I would have thought it would um, because it's cold. I'm sure once it's on the wrist and it's warmed up and it's body temperature, it's going to uh, be a lot smoother. Now, comparing these two watches, now this watch that I'm taking off is a £100 watch. This is a £500 watch. The difference is um, quite a lot. You've got, um, you know, this is obviously it's a lot heavier. It's a lot more premium. It doesn't doesn't sound as cheap. It feels more expensive. I mean, it's five times the price, so it should be. Um, you know, who actually knows which one's going to last the longest? Who knows? You know, which one is um, going to withstand the most wear and tear? I'm not really sure. You know, only wearing it will tell. But you know, this is about science, Steinhardt. So for the price, um, you know, as I said, just under five hundred pound. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's really good quality. It's got a nice, a nice bit of weight, which is 
something you know you want out of um uh, an expensive watch a premium watch you want it to be weighty because you know i suppose you kind of want to know you're wearing it you want to know it's well made um and that's something that this kind of does have it does have um a little bit of weight to it it's not ridiculously heavy but you know it's good um it's it's well put together it's all it's what you'd expect from a 500 pound watch i suppose um and you know i'm more than happy with it um just one note uh, if you are on the website and uh, it says pre-order don't be put off i pre-ordered um and i received the watch and even once i'd received it it still now says pre-order um so you know i wouldn't be put off by that so somebody did ask me on a forum was the bezel and the face dial the same color or are they different now i would actually say they are slightly different i don't know if that's because of the ceramic bezel it shows the color off differently or if it's supposed to be a different color it's you know in some lights it looks the same like there over here it's looking different who knows i'm happy with it i didn't expect them to be 100 percent dead on match but you know from what i've what i've got there i'm very happy so overall really pleased with it i'm looking um you know at some point in the future to buy a rolex uh, maybe it's a mariner or a gmt master 2 still undecided on that but that's my goal that's my grail and uh yeah i'll be doing it so thanks for watching if you've got any questions ask i'll put a link to the watch um in the bottom of the uh video and uh yeah thanks very much cheers bye bye